Hey guys, FNAF22 here with our video, and in today's video, we are finally here with my review of the Five Nights at Freddy's movie. Now, we need to talk about pros and cons for this movie and really discuss, is this a good video game movie? But before we get into this, there are two things I want to say. First off, I'm sorry, I don't know what shots I'm going to be using for this video. It might just all be stuff from trailers, because I know you can't really get away with using a lot of movie footage, because you'll get in trouble. So, I'm just fair warning you now, I have no idea what the the background of this video is going to look like, but still, I hope you guys enjoy the video. And then the second thing I do want to talk about is the giveaway. Now, we were going to do a giveaway when we hit 400 subscribers, and now we're almost at like 430. I think we're at 424 or 425 at the time of recording this video, which is absolutely crazy. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. But um, I will be giving away three FNAF books at Trilogy, so you get all three FNAF books, and that'll be the Silver Eyes, the Twisted Ones, and uh the fourth closet and i'll be giving two sets of those away so two of you guys can win all three of the fnaf books so all you have to do is make sure you're subscribed to the channel leave a like on whatever video you're watching and then comment down below your favorite five nights at freddy's character i was supposed to do this during the summer but then me and the boys never had time to do filming thanksgiving break starts next week and at the time you guys are seeing this video it should be sunday and the boys will be coming down to my place to stay with me on friday so sometime next week or after next week it'll be sometime between friday and thanksgiving i will be revealing dropping a video where we uh celebrate 400 subscribers and then we also announce the giveaway winners so i'm gonna give you guys until friday to continue entering into the giveaway because we already have a few people so remember all you have to do is make sure you're subscribed to the channel leave a like on whatever video you watch and comment down below your favorite five nights at freddy's character but let's get straight into this review kicking things off with the pros of the five nights at freddy's movie so i'm just gonna go over some pros some cons and then get my overall thoughts and i have a special guest as you guys already saw in the title and you will see soon let's kick things off with the pros my first pro is that everything looked great now this movie absolutely looked amazing the animatronics looked mwah. the animatronics were so beautiful the pizzeria looked great the atmospheres were great everything in this movie looked absolutely amazing so that's a big thumbs up to everybody who worked on it especially the jim henson creature shop with the five nights of phrase animatronics just absolutely beautiful work and on top of that there were some really great references in this movie there were some uh fnaf plushies in there some other like bootleg fnaf merchandise in there obviously we got cameos from people like matt pat and Corey x kenshin and of course the the wall of achievement people which had like Daco and 8-bit ryan and stuff on it and of course during the credits we got an absolute banger of the living Tombstone's Five Nights at Freddy's song playing during the credits, which was absolutely amazing. So, mwah, beautiful, beautiful work from them. Absolutely great references. Obviously, we get to see, like, the dum dum da dum uh, from Foxy. Get to see him run down the hall. Just some absolutely great references to the, the whole franchise and Five Nights at Freddy's 1 in general. Now, let's get into more serious things. First off, it was a decent story. I honestly didn't hate the story. I was a little worried when I saw that Mike had to bring his sister into the pizzeria. I thought the story was going to be absolutely dog crap. But honestly, the story was overall pretty decent. I would say it was a pretty decent story. And yeah, it was a pretty fun movie to watch overall. Pretty decent. Pretty decent on the story. Not too bad. It, things made sense. It wasn't too crazy, but it might have been a little out of pocket if you're not a FNAF fan. And there was honestly a decent amount of blood. Now, this movie was PG-13, so I was a little worried to see a PG-13 horror movie. But no, there was actually a little decent amount of blood. The part where um, that teenager's face got munched by Cupcake and then you see him later in the movie, I can't show it, but wow, that looked pretty gruesome, honestly, for a PG-13 movie. And then there was little bits of blood here and there, like on the spring locking scene or the part when Bonnie gets that guy in the supply closet. Just overall, a little decent amount of blood, and honestly, I appreciate it. I feel like there could have been a little bit more like for the spring locking scene but we'll talk about that in the cons but overall i feel like there was a good amount of blood for a five nights at freddy's movie it doesn't have to be super gory now let's talk about is this movie a good movie is it good for fnaf fans is it good for casual viewers is it good for people who don't even know what five nights at freddy's is or was it just overall bad i honestly think this movie is good if you're a Five Nights at Freddy's fan. If you love Five Nights at Freddy's, I think you will absolutely love this movie. It may not be the best movie out there, but I think if you love FNAF, you will definitely appreciate what it is and, you know, how long it took to make and how everything looks. If you're a Five Nights at Freddy's fan, you will appreciate this movie a lot. But if you're not a FNAF fan, it can go either way. I've seen a lot of non-FNAF fans saying this movie is really bad, it's a really bad horror movie, and all this crap. But I've also watch this movie three times and one of those times was with somebody who doesn't like fnaf or doesn't know really anything about the game franchise except for 
that kids were killed and put in suits, and they absolutely loved the movie. So honestly, I feel like it can go either way, but if you are a FNAF fan, I think you will appreciate this movie a lot more than being a non-FNAF fan. Now, let's get to where the pros really matter. Let's get to the final thing on my pros list. Matthew Lillard. Oh my god, bro. Matthew Lillard. He was absolutely amazing in this movie. Matthew Lillard played Spring Bonnie, aka Springtrap, and the purple guy. In, oh, he should have been on screen more. Honestly, bro was absolutely beautiful. I mean, hey, he might be up there on the smashability list with Ryan Reynolds. I don't think I can say that. Oh my god, Matthew Lillard was absolutely in amazing in this movie. So was um Mike Schmidt, aka Josh Hutcherson. They were both really great, but Matthew Lillard for the win, bro. <laughs> Alright, now after that uh <laughs> blunder, let's move on to the cons of the Five Nights at Freddy's movie. And also, don't forget guys, this whole video is my opinion, so... Yeah, just leave it there. My first con was Vanessa. Now, I know a lot of people might disagree, but I feel like Vanessa was the worst human character in this movie. Well, Abby was decent. Josh Hutcherson as Mike was pretty good. Don't even get me started on Matthew Lillard as William Afton. But I did not like Vanessa, really, as a character. I feel like Vanessa as a character was just... Uh, not that great. I, it just annoyed me that she knew everything, but like she was just sprinkling it. And then you find out like she's whatever William guy, William, <laughs> William guy. Wow. William Afton's daughter, which I guess makes sense why she would know, but I feel like she could have just told Mike everything at the beginning and it would have been a lot easier. And I'm like, I hate how her character writ was written. The actor wasn't bad. The actor did not do anything wrong. I just hate how Vanessa's character was written in this movie. She was a really annoying character, in my opinion, and I feel like she could have just been left out of this movie. I do not feel like we needed her in this movie. Anyways, one of the biggest cons I'm seeing from a lot of FNAF fans, myself included, was the animatronic party. When pretty much Foxy, Bonnie, Chica, and Freddy have a party with Mike and Vanessa and Abby, and they all, like, um, you know, make up four out of all the stuff and it was really stupid the the part where bonnie falls over and then gives the thumbs up honestly made me cringe and as i watched this movie i told my boys because we were watching it in their living room i told them if this keeps going and the animatronics are good for the rest of the movie i am heading out now the ending part where they drag spring trap away that's a reference to the book so i'm not i'm not mad about that but the part where they're being nice to all the humans just I hated that. That was so stupid. It was really, really stupid. I know why they did it. And they like, they took it back and it didn't fix everything, but at least they made them bad again by the ending. But uh, uh, the animatronic party was so stupid. And I see a lot of people complaining about that. And I am now going to be one of those people who complained about the animatronic party. Now, another big problem I have was with towards the end of the movie, the spring lock scene. Now, like I just said, the spring lock scene was pretty good and we got to see Matthew Lillard do the iconic I always come back, which was absolutely beautiful to see William Afton do. It was so cool. But my problem with the spring lock scene, like I said earlier, was not a lot of blood. Now, I feel like if they were gonna add any blood at all, instead of adding that little gory shot of that teenager's face, munched by the cupcake they should have saved it to make the spring lock scene really gory because i feel like the spring lock scene the bite of 87 and the bite of 83 are like the three most goriest parts of five nights at freddy's in the games at least and i think it was kind of sad that they really didn't take the opportunity to make the spring lock scene a little bit more gory i don't feel like it had to be crazy like blood flying everywhere painting a whole room but i feel like they could have just added a little bit more and made it a little bit more gory you know maybe get some more shots of william afton suffering even though that last shot of him reaching out towards the kid uh towards the end of the movie was a really good shot either way i feel like they could have made that scene look a little bit more gory and a little bit more gruesome for william uh, afton so we can later you know see him return to spring trap and then my final con for this movie was there was not enough golden freddy and not enough spring bonnie aka william afton now golden freddy if you guys don't know is my favorite character in the five nights of freddy's franchise and i was very disappointed that he is not really in this movie he is in maybe like three or four scenes and that's it yes you do see cassidy a lot the kid that is controlling golden freddy but we do not see golden freddy that much which is really really sad honestly because absolutely love him i feel like his animatronic design could have been a little bit better too but we can talk about that some other time i don't really feel like it looked like golden freddy it just looked like a less withered version of withered freddy either way though i would have really loved to see golden freddy 
show up more, have a bigger appearance, even though I know Cassidy is the main part of Golden Freddy. Either way, I would have still loved to see Golden Freddy more. And then, like I already said, Matthew Lillard, William Afton, Spring Bonnie, whatever you want to call him, he should have showed up more. I feel like Spring Bonnie had probably the best costume design, and it wasn't even one from the games. Like, obviously, Freddy Bonnie, Chica Foxy looked amazing, but Spring Bonnie looked absolutely sick, and he only showed up toward the end. I absolutely loved his costume. The I loved the voice. Everything was so good. I just wish William Afton appeared more in the movie because Matthew Lillard killed the character absolutely and I don't know how much we'll see him if we get a sequel because he's pretty much locked in that room now so we'll probably just get a few flashbacks with him. So I would have loved to see Matthew Lillard as William Afton a little bit more on screen. Yeah guys, that is all my pros and cons for the Five Nights at Freddy's movie. There may have been a few things I left out, but if you think I'm just some weirdo lo loser nerd who loves Five Nights at Freddy's, then how about you hear from one of my other great friends? Somebody I just made a video with the other day. Yes, we were talking about my boy, Red Monk Beast. So if you aren't already, go subscribe to Red Monk Beast. His channel will be linked in the description as well as on my channels tab. And Red Monk Beast, what do you have to say about the FNAF movie? Uh, I gotta sit down and relax for this. Alrighty guys, so, here's my review on the FNAF movie. Oh, for my review, there could be a little bit more blood for that movie, because it's kind of more of that kind of gruesome death kind of horror film. But overall, I rate it about 9.5 out of 10. It could be a little bit better. And there could be a little bit more references to the FNAF games. But overall, really good. So see you guys, I'm not the only loser in this group. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and hit the bell. So you will always be notified for when I drop another video. And overall, I would give the FNAF movie maybe an 8 or an 8.5 out of 10. I thought it was a pretty good movie. I loved it for what it was. Yes, it could have obviously been better with all the cons I listed, but overall, I still think the movie was pretty good, and I definitely, it was worth the wait. If you're a FNAF fan, it was definitely worth the wait, and I hope they'll make a sequel, and they'll make it better, and then we'll get, you know, the third one with William Afton. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys enjoyed the FNAF movie. Just give me your opinion on the FNAF movie in the comments down below. And also, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and comment down below your favorite FNAF character if you want to be entered into the giveaway, which will be announced in about two weeks or so. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Deuces!